My name is Andrew Smith. I'm from the Canadian Museum of Nature. And uh, Andrew, do you think that North American entomological collections are well represented at the ECN meetings? I do. I think uh, the ECN meetings are probably the best meetings in North America to go to, to see people who are interested in uh, entomology collections, uh, collection managers, and uh, curators and also people that do collections based research. This is the meeting to go to. Uh, there are some other entomological meetings uh, that happen as well but um, most of the collections people seem to go to this one. So it's very well represented and a lot of people even come down from Canada to, to these meetings. And uh, from around the world as well. We have people from Europe and uh, every once in a while some Central American folks come up so it's, uh, it's a good representation. So then overall, uh, in your opinion, what is the value of these meetings? Well, the value of the meetings is, like any meetings, it gives us an opportunity to meet face-to-face -face and talk about a lot of the uh, current uh, challenges and issues that we face uh, commonly in trying to work in collections and do collections-based research. So there's that face-to-face -face interaction uh, that's really important, but we also get to uh, listen to really high-quality presentations and talks that have to do with the, uh, the current issues of the day. and also um, you know listen to other people's experiences as they're trying to move collections or deal with collections in some way that that we might have to at a later date and just to just to spread around that knowledge of uh, of what works and what doesn't work so there's a lot of benefits to it all right so briefly could you explain why you think entomological collections are so important well entomo it, like any collections it uh, it gives you um, you know, a snapshot of what was happening at a certain time and certain place with uh, what organisms were present at that time. Um, if you extend that over a long period of time in many different places in the world, you assemble all of that, uh, all of those collections in one place. It's uh, it's a very powerful research tool where you can you can use uh, you can get all kinds of data points uh, if you put all the collections together across North America or across the world. That's a, that's a huge uh, uh, reference collection to draw upon for any particular research project that you want to work on that has, uh, uh, that's based on specimens. And have any ECN experiences in general or specifically uh, impacted your approach to collections or uh, have they affected your own research in any way? Oh, all the time. Every year I learn something new or I find a better way to do something or, you know, it, somebody, uh, somebody tries a different area of research and talks to us about it at ECN and that will definitely influence me on what I'm doing. So that happens all the time for sure. And uh, what sorts of topics do you foresee ECN meetings addressing in the future? Or put another way, what's the next frontier regarding entomological collections? Well I think the thing that's been, uh, you know, there's been a lot of topics since I've started going about new technology that's come out and uh, internet access and, and these sorts of things have been changing at a tremendous pace over the past 10 or 15 years since I've been going to ECN meetings and I think uh, that kind of drives what the topics are at ECN meetings and I, I think that'll continue as technology changes so fast that it, as it has been doing and as it continues to do we need to stay on top of that to find out what the best methods and techniques are for the kinds of uh, collections work that we do. So in other words you know, the bottom line is you would encourage anyone interested in systematics or museum collections or entomology collections to attend the ECM meeting? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, every, every year the focus is slightly different, but it's, uh, it, it's a broad-based sort, of, uh, sort of topics that apply to most people that work in, in uh, collections. So it's very useful at any, any given year. All right, thank you very much. And the last thing is you could look right there and say, see you in Austin. See you in Austin. All right, thank you, sir. <laughs>